Simplicity Beaches series came about when I took a trip to Florida with the North American Nature Photographers Association. And we would get up very early in the morning, travel to the beach, and while the group that I was with was photographing birds and what have you, I stayed up in the dunes and saw so many beautiful patterns and so much life in the dunes and in the grasses and in the water. There was much more life there to me. And at that point in my, in my life, that's what I was looking for. I've been a photographer all my life, but when I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer five years ago, I had to retire from my practice and my life kind of turned around and I looked to photography as a way to help me to heal. The photography sort of took over and I spent the 18 months of chemotherapy photographing and it was wonderful. My, it, it brought a healing sensation to my entire life. I, 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 there are several people who, who have been very influential in my photography career. The first is A. Arby Bodine who was a photographer for the Baltimore Sun while I was growing up. And looking at his black and white and sepia tone prints is what influenced me in the very beginning to become a photographer. The people that I'm working with right now are the people who have really influenced my photography career. Um, Sam Sefton, who is a retired Time, Life mag uh, Time magazine photographer, um, has been working with me on black and white prints and sepia printing and doing my own darkroom work, which has been great. Um, Mike Hemming, who is a nature photographer here in Easton, who helped me hang my first show. And it was at that show that I sold my first print, which was wonderful. And my photography buddy, Liz Lawler, who goes with me and, and we accompany each other to different venues to shoot and while we're sitting and, doing, and standing and doing the same, same shots, our outlooks are entirely different and what we, what we shoot are in, is entirely different. Um, right now, I'm being represented by the Traces of Us Gallery in Easton, which has been just a dream come true. I never thought that I would have photographs in, an, in a real gallery. And Fabiano Cafiore, who is the owner of the Traces of Us Gallery, has, has been an immense help in forwarding my career. There are more. 